My name is Uzezi Wari and I'm a filmmaker. So I made this um, video a few days back and um, I got lots of um, friends and other filmmakers video editors asking me how I shipped it. So you may find it useful and learn how to key a green screen perfectly and track your subjects along with it. Okay, so I did this and got what you see now. You can see the screen was rumpled, but um, I tried to smoothen it. Okay, so let's dive in. So first I opened um, Adobe After Effects. That was where I did this. Okay, let's open Adobe After Effects. Wait for it to load. Okay, so from Adobe After Effects, I created a new comp. In your composition, it was low. Right, the new projects, new composition. So you set your the frame rate, the resolution. So I did this. Um, I shot at uh, twenty four frames per second, and um, the resolution was a full HD, like twenty by ten eighteen. Okay, so I imported my footage <coughs> from a music video. I just did so I imported the footage. As you can see, so so I made a new composition with it. Okay, so the first thing you can see, you can see that um, there are lots of um, empty space sits around the video, okay, outside the green screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is to uh, grab my pen tool and then I'm going to mask it so I can get uh, just the part of the video that I need. Okay, so I grab my pen tool and uh, I mask it around. As you can see, all right. So I just have the green screen with my along with my subject. All right. So now, as you can see, the green screen is very rough. So I need to do something to get a smooth key. And with that, I, I use uh, this effect, smooth screen. So I apply it the first time and then smoothing part of the screen. As you can see. Okay, I still have some rumples, so I, I wanted to get it smoother i grabbed it the second time putting this further as you can see good so my screen is looking cleaner and smooth okay now i want to key it now so i use uh, this primate key here from the uh, red giant okay so keying it now you can see in it now we we didn't we are unable to eradicate the key completely and secondly you can see that uh, parts of the white we are gone so that is why the um primate key here is um, primate key here does an excellent job because i will be able to restore the parts i want back to my image okay so the whites can see I, I have to zoom it a little try to restore restore it back okay the show you know that to restore the whites back so that I know okay just the screen 
I'm removing. Okay. You see this? Right, so just to check the whole image to see if there's any other place we will I ski that along the background. Okay, so this was plot. So you can see um our green we still have some green in the image while the transparency is still on the other side part of my screen is still green so what i will do i will change my you change it from comp to mat so mat what i will do is um, to make sure the whole background is black while my subject the part i want is white so I use my black points to take to adjust it until I get black on the background that's on the screen. Uh, then um, and my subject, or oh, that is the part of the image I need, is white. Okay, so that was quick. You can see it. All right. So I think this is a bit clean. The need to see adjust it, and then I added a little feather shrink it a little so to remove any extra spill and they're uh, talking about spill i use the spill killer from a uh, primate care and uh, to remove the extra spill around the my subject extra spill around my subject okay so that did an excellent job pretty quick for me okay so that was about that. So the next thing was for me to import my background. Yeah, so I search for the background and yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, it is all right as it. So I imported my background to my composition. Okay, so you can see it. I open a new composition actually with the background because um, I'm going to do some tracking in my next video. So watch out for the next video. I'm going to do some tracking, camera tracking, and then that was how I tracked my subjects alongside the background. So so it was actually moving with the dolly move you see here in the background. All right. So, okay, so I moved the background below my subject composition. I skipped my subject down a little, and that. So, I will show you how I did the tracking in my next video. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. So, tap the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already, and also tap on the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you. And again, my name is Uzezi Wari, also known as Director Zim.